Damn it. Damn it! This video shows you how to tie a double Windsor. Though there are many variations of how to tie a necktie, the double Windsor is arguably the cleanest and most uniform looking, and can be achieved in only a few simple steps. Start by flipping the collar of your shirt up and draping the tie over your neck like so. Adjust the tie so the point of the narrow end is just above your belly button. Cross the wide end of the tie over the narrow end to create a loop around your neck. Now pull the wide end back up through the neck loop you just made as shown. Once again, wrap the wide end behind the narrow end and back through the neck loop, this time coming from the top and pulling it through so it ends up behind the narrow end. You'll notice you have a nice even triangle now. Pull everything snug and make that triangle as neat and uniform as possible. One last time, wrap the wide end around the narrow end and back through the neck loop from underneath. Leave a little slack when you do it this time though. Once you've pulled the wide end through the neck loop, go back down through the slacked loop you just created. This will create the finished knot. Pull the wide end down slowly so the knot tightens, but don't pull it as tight as it'll go. Turn the wide end over and tuck the narrow end into the label so it's held together as one. Grab the knot and push upwards toward your neck while pulling down on the narrow end to cinch the tie comfortably up around your neck. Flip your collar back down and center the knot. Also, make sure the part of the tie that goes behind your neck is tucked up under the collar. Lastly, make any adjustments to the knot, especially at the point where the wide end meets the knot. If you sized everything right, the tip of the tie should just touch your belt buckle. If it doesn't, pull the tie off and try again, adjusting the position of the narrow end's tip up or down as necessary. Hello and welcome to my tutorial for this, the Rose Knot. Something that I came up with after trying to find something that didn't just look like a triangle. Let me show you how it's done. The first step is to pop your collar and get a tie, as with any tie knot. The next is to bring the tie so that the fat end rests at your waist. So I think you can see that. But trust me, it's there. Then you want to put a dimple in it, like so, and you're ready to go. And this is because this tie is a little different, so much as you actually have to wrap around the thin end, as opposed to the, where'd it go? The fat end, here. So you just saw the first move here, and that is to just bring it around like that. Then you want to move that thin end and pass it through the top while holding the dimple. That makes sure that it's that makes sure that it's nice and good. Then you end up with this triangle thing, and that is the base for the rest of the knot. So you want to pass the tie over that and then up. The second weird thing is that you actually have to then reopen that so that you can Put your finger through it like that, and then bring the tie through that. And that's what gives it the weaved look. Take the thin end that you just passed through here, as you can see, and bring it back down through the hole in the back. Now you're going to need to tighten this mess up, and the way you do that is that you pull down on the right side of the triangle that brings in this here. And then you want to pull up on the top of the triangle. And that brings in that. You may need to do that a couple of times, but it's fairly quick. All right. Then you're left with that here. Which looks good in its, in its own right, but unfortunately we have this hanging off and we can't just leave it here. So what we're going to do is 
open up a loop, do the same basic principle as before, and pass it through. This time we bring it straight down. Now you're left with something like that, with this hanging off the left side. Now we can't just leave it here because it's right in the way. So what we're going to do is instead of passing it down, is we're actually going to hide it inside our collar by hiding it behind the rest of the tie. Let's put it there and as you can see it holds itself fairly well. So if you happen to be moving a lot during the night, that's not going anywhere. So once you're like that, you're pretty much golden. You bring down the collar and there you have the rose knot. Now to adjust this, you want to pull on the fat end and that brings it up here. And most of the time you're going to be ending up with something kind of like what I have here where it's all wrinkly. Now one way you can get rid of that, or at least help get rid of some of it, is to get a headphone jack and just put it in there. And just slide it around, try and flatten it out. As you can see, it's just a little bit better. And another thing you can do is put your thumb on the back and support the knot on all three of its sides with your fingers and push forward and that plumps it up and that fleshes out any of the remaining bumps. Well, at least most of them. It's never going to be perfect, perfect, but you can get pretty darn close. So now you put it in your vest or just let it drape inside your jacket and there you go. That there is how you tie the rose knot. Thanks for watching.